So something I mentioned earlier was that we were looking at monopole antennas. And after that last one, um, with the piece of antenna taped onto the door, it made me realize it's arcing through to the ground reference here. Now, I don't particularly want that to arc through to the screen, and I have to admit I'm not quite sure why it did work against the rest of the chassis. It could be the cause of the paint. Um, it's acting as a good insulator. I'm not sure why the glass wouldn't be any worse, but anyways, um, one thing we could try is instead of doing a monopole to a ground reference, because there's not really a good ground, do a dipole. And this dipole will be two antennas, one and the other, and they'll be, since we want maximum power transfer, we'll loosely couple them in the middle. So we should see maximum power transfer in the middle. Now, this is wavelength over two, and wavelength over two is two monopoles. One side is your positive, one side is your negative. It just so happens that I happen to have a one wavelength strip cut earlier here. So, what I can do is cut this one in half, and then place the two on top, or pretty close to each other. I'll probably actually put one, sort of like one to the side, one to the side, and leave a little space in the middle. And that will be the spark gap. So we'll see some arcing there. Now I seem to have good luck with this orientation, which is pointing in from the door. So let's try this. Nothing? So I crossed that spark gap. I taped a small piece of tape. I'm hoping that it can get through the tape to that easier than it can across the gap probably because the tape has filled in the air gap in the middle of there. So now instead of going through air, it's got to go through this tape, which is probably a much better insulator than just plain air. Scotch tape is pretty magnificent stuff, people. So uh, let's get this a shot. Now instead of there being a gap, I've coupled them together. And this time I have air on the back side. Um, shouldn't really matter because now they're touching. Nothing. This may look a little weird, but let's try it this way. Let's try this. This will spin it around. We'll do it for 10 seconds. Oh! Hey, look at that. Every time it hits the ground, it sparks. This might be interesting. I put a small starter on the top bottom here. You should start the gap moving. Hey! Well, didn't need that after all. Made a nice little arc mark on there, and ate up a good bit of the. So this got me thinking. I've got my antenna here. This is a half wave, and then a small little spot here. This is a little bit of tin foil wrapped around across the paint. Now, not going to be a great connection, but maybe enough to the metal that will arc through and we'll see a nice size arc here. Nope. Not quite. However, we have seen this is very dependent on orientation. So let's try a few. And let's try it coming out the back of the microwave. This way out. Now it's got a little bit of an arc, or I'm sorry, a little bit of an angle to it, but not too bad. Okay, now this is going to look weird, but got a wooden stick, it's going to rotate, holding up 
wavelength over two antenna. Wavelength over two is two wavelength over four antennas connected together, so hopefully the middle will start to burn. Now, it's not perfect, but hopefully we'll have better luck with this one. Not really. <laughs> Not really at all. It is possible that the energy just needs somewhere to go. So, I'm going to give it a tie to ground here. It only needs to work for a little bit, so hopefully that's enough length. Let's give it a go. One thing I did notice on the last one is that if you watch the aluminum foil, it sort of drooped down. So I think it was heating, and the drooping of it caused it to fall out. But, you know, fall out of the uh, orientation it needs to be in. So I'm going to try some hardier copper wire here, and I'm just going to leave this exposed on the bottom here. I don't think it actually needs to be tied to anything. Wish me luck. Hey! Arcing. Ooh, good arc. That was a good one. Hmm, you can see here where it started to blow away the aluminum at the bottom. And you can see it also arc at the edge here. So, that's good. So I think this is working. Um, now which orientation it is, I think I saw it in this way, maybe? Let's try this. So we know we're on the right path. No, doesn't really do much of anything. Like I said, very sensitive to orientation. No. Let's try that. This one matches sort of the way I had it pointing away from the door earlier, so maybe. Nope. Okay. Oh! Bingo! Ha-ha! <laughs>